I want to be part of something that brings about a change, whether it's change now or change towards the future. UKAEA has been in collaboration with the University of Bristol to build a diamond battery. We are looking at renewable energies, trying to produce as less waste as we can, just so that this planet can be safe for us all to live. We're trying to develop new materials, new devices, which change the paradigm for atomic energy. The diamond battery would revolutionise the battery industry. Bye bye to all lithium iron waste batteries. Bye bye to constant surgery to change pacemakers. This is about UK innovation. And no one's ever done this before. We can have a real world impact on people's lives. We can offer a technology where you never have to replace the battery because the battery will literally, on human timescales, last forever. So in our case, what we're trying to do is to have a radioactive material in this diamond to help create some form of electricity. We first approached the UK Atomic Energy Authority. We thought they had the materials that we needed to make diamond batteries. The UKA is working across all of the fields that are necessary to deliver safe and sustainable fusion energy. There's global interest in the development of safe and sustainable fusion energy. In this case, we're using carbon-14. The half-life of carbon-14 is about 5,000 years. That's a long time. Here is the actual experimental rig to synthesize uh, and build diamond batteries. We are trying to create a thin layer of these diamonds under uh, pressures that are below atmospheric pressure. So we are ensuring that the carbon isotope is totally encapsulated in the core of the diamond. Isotope inside that thin layer emit electrons. And these electrons, when they go through this diamond, which is a semiconductor material, it helps to create that electricity and power. Dough is low power, but it lasts for a very, very long time. Neil is holding two batteries. One has been um, grown in the lab at UKAA with synthetic diamond coating carbon-12 and carbon-14. That's the diamond battery and that's the lithium battery. We had a device made out of diamonds where we had the radioisotope integrated within that device and, and that's the world first. The future would be us using diamond batteries in almost everything. We can use it in small satellites, we can use it in computer chips, remote controls, wristwatches. Our use case applications are typically either extreme environments, so this could be space, it could be the bottom of the sea. When we have a clean battery, like the diamond battery, that mitigates climate change. Clean energy and low carbon energy is really important in terms of protecting the environment. We want to use this technology for advancing the human race. This is where I know I'm actually doing something that can affect the world in a positive manner. The decade ahead is about upscaling production. It's about improving power performance. Give credit to a lot of engineers that have worked on it. It's, it's not just two or three people. There's a lot of, a lot of powerhouse behind this. That's really what allowed us to achieve this fantastic result. This is really exciting at this point. This is where we think that people are really going to say, hold on, this is absolutely game-changing. <laughs>